What's happening, Avalon School? It's Mr. Flood. Mr. Flood that was there a couple weeks ago giving assemblies. Still don't remember me. It's okay. I'm not offended by that. I don't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. I really don't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. Anyway, um, I, I'm not concerned if you remember me. I'm more concerned that you remember something that I said that day that hopefully affected you in a, in a positive way to make a, a small change in your life um, or to reach out to someone else. So there's two reasons, guys and girls, I'm coming back with this video. Number one, and most importantly, is to say thank you. Thank you for the way that you treated me when I was there. Um, there's something about Texas. There just is. And I mean a good thing. Like, I really, I don't know. I just, this... There's definitely something to be said for Southern hospitality, uh, but, and it, you know, I'm a huge Cowboys fan and it's not that, like, it's not like I just, I just like the people in Texas. And I like the people in North, I like people everywhere, but this Texas is just, uh, thank you. That's my way of saying you have, you live in an awesome place. Um, second reason I'm coming back, you know, you treated me with dignity and respect when I was there. So thank you, thank you, thank you to the students and staff. And the second reason I came back with this video, as I said earlier, we, we forget things very quickly, so I need to remind you of the challenges that I gave you when I was there. Number one, to look on the inside of people. Always give people the benefit of the doubt. Don't judge by the outside. And when you do that, even when you don't even, when you don't say anything and you give off that energy and that vibe that you are a non-judgmental person, 99.9% .9 of the time, they will not judge you either. In very rare instances, will someone, you know, judge you when you haven't judged them. Um, and those people are probably very troubled uh, and need help and have you know things going on that you don't you don't understand. So, but look at people on the outside. Just we're all alike. Uh, look at people on the inside. We're all alike. You know, don't judge by the outside. Do not judge by the outside. And the second challenge I gave you, which is super important, is to reach out, say thank you to, and show respect for two adults in your building. You know, you're going to need in your in your school career even into college and even into early adult life, you're gonna need a d trusted adults to go to. Why not start practicing you know, in school um, and saying thank you, showing respect for adults, connecting with them, and when you have a problem, talk to somebody, an adult, who can give you some perspective um, on what's going on. And, I, and you know, their answer to you should be, I know how you feel, I felt the same way, this is what happened to me and this is what I did. Different situations, same feelings. So show respect for two adults in the building. Say thank you to them and watch, watch them light up. You know, um, Just watch the whole school atmosphere change when you start to do that. And the third challenge and the one that was most important to me is to please look for places where you can include other people. You know, No one eats alone. Uh, no one sits on the bus alone. No one, uh, uh, you know, no one walks alone in the hallway. Um, I'm including people in the classroom and conversation and groups and recess sports, whatever it is. Just look for opportunities where you can expand your friend groups. It's great to have a core group of friends. It's even greater to include someone who's left on the outside, you know, someone who's lonely or spends a tremendous amount of time alone. Um, you can have a profound impact on those around you. So thank you again, Avalon, for the way, you know, that you showed me dignity and respect when I was there. Um, I, I, you know, I don't know what else to say. I just felt so welcomed, and, and I really, really, really love my time in Texas. I hope I get a chance to get back. I, I mean, I know I will. I hope I get a chance to get back to your school. And I hope I run into some of you guys some, someday across the country, you know, in Texas or somewhere else, um, in a Starbucks or a Panera or um, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, and, uh, and we just kind of look at each other and say, hey, Mr. Flo, I remember you said this to me. And, you know, so I hope you're all well. Hope you all have a great second half to the year. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm grateful for my time at uh, Avalon Schools. Have a great day.